What a harsh light! Okay, so this concludes my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, so for my last few things, well, my last thing for fall. I would recommend you having a flannel shirt. So I know that's kind of like not on trend or why would you do a flannel shirt? They're not really, they're actually very versatile. You can wear it as a jacket and you can have like a graphic tee up under it to conceal the flannel shirt. You can tie it around you to add a pop of color to a simple outfit. Like you can have shorts on the flannel shirt wrapped around and a pair of boots and a graphic tee and that would be very Instagram daddy very trendy to me so I don't really have any flannel on me right now because it's 94 degrees outside how is it fall just trying to get understanding but I hope okay so for the next part I would say get a jumper. So these onesie jumpers are super duper cute and easy to style because you don't have to worry about matching a shirt or pants with it. And then plus you can wear clothes like over or on top of it. So I got this black and white jumper out of old navy last year, but I'm sure you could find something on your style in like Old Navy or Thrift Store or Forever 21. Sadly, they're going bankrupt. So, I recommend a jumper for a fall time because it's like a cooler time. We haven't necessarily left summer and we're not necessarily in winter. So, it's like, I feel like a jumper is like the best time to wear in the fall. Okay, so my next section. <laughs> Sorry, my um, bean bag went lopsided and I couldn't be falling on camera. So my next section are shoes. So I don't know why, but the color white for shoes is an underrated color. Like, so for example, I have these Tommy Hilfiger white boots. These are like super freaking adorable. Like look at them, they're just amazing. So here goes the size of them, my shoe goes the 360. So I got these out of Ross and I'm really feeling them. Like I wanted some white boots. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to show you the inside. So they have red velvet in them. So these boots were only 30 bucks, but like, how can I resist? How can I say no to them? Like they were, they were calling my name. First of all, they were at the current store. And then two, if you don't know me, I love Tommy Hilfiger. I also have these white chunky shoes. I got these out of Walmart. And they're actually really comfortable. They're kind of beat up right now because I kind of like wearing them with literally everything. So I'm just like, I need to either get some cleaner or let, just go buy another pair. But probably get some clean. So I recommend try to get out of your comfort zone when it comes to shoes because some shoes are very fashionable. It's just getting out of your own head of, well, I don't usually wear that color. So why would I like go get this color shoe if I don't really wear this color? And I would argue that you might realize you actually like the color and you kind of look past the color. Like I don't wear a lot of black and ironically, I'm wearing a black Prince tee that says Purple Rain on it. If you're wondering where I got the tee from, I got it from Hot Topic for my birthday. Okay, so for my next part of the video, I would recommend trying out different pants styles. Um, these are kind of wrinkled, but I thrifted these cargo pants and I really think these are like super duper cute especially on 
during the fall time because they're like on trend right now. So I feel like you should try those out. And then I also have these camo pants. They're really, really cute. This, I have the color pink, but soon I wanna have blue and purple camo pants. Like that would be super duper cute because I could wear a black bodysuit or a white bodysuit. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of all um, outfit ideas. I'm always trying to think of something trendy, but still within my price range. So again, these pants were thrifted. I got my camouflage pants out of this store in the mall. I don't know the actual name of it, but it's like a $6.99 store where the whole store is $6.99. So I would recommend trying out different patterns of pants on and different styles of pants too. I recommend high rise camouflage, obviously, and cargo pants. But I think low rise pants, depending on how you style them, are coming back. So I recommend that too. Okay, so for my fall must-haves, I'm going to start off with accessories because I recently went a little crazy with my accessories. So for my accessories now, I have like must-haves. So here you have this blue grommet belt. It's a big big blue belt. I paid $3 for this. I got this double ring belt for my birthday. I got, oh, the last belt, I got out of Ross. And this blue belt, I got out of like a Dollar Tree. And I have this pink snake skin type of belt. I got this out of Ross. It was like, it came as a set, but I had a black simple belt and I didn't feel like it was a must have but I want the pink belt. But this is like my all time favorite, like out of all my belts right now. It is this, how do I describe this belt? I'm gonna call it a military belt cause I can't think of like the actual name of it, but it says limited edition on it. And I like the buckle detailing. Okay, there's a gym lock. I got this belt out of Route 21. And I would say that belts are like a simple way to take like your outfit from basic to the next level because I mean, say you're wearing all black. If you have like a limited edition belt and this type of buckle, like now it's like, oh, you're an Instagram baddie. Like that really stepped up your game. Like that's, so I recommend trying out different accessories for this time. I know the I am Gia belt out of Urban Outfitters is like on trend, but we don't all have Urban Outfitters money. So I try to keep things like inspired by or something close to it. So I So today we're going to do fall trends. So if you're interested in what I think personally are the must-haves for fall time, stay tuned for this video. Uh -huh. 